We wanted to come by and look at an engine that we know quite well now in the light sport light kit segment. This is the Titan. Used to be from a company called ECI. It's not that way anymore. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm going to ask JB Ball some questions because it's now Continental, Continental, Continental. That's so right. how is that now that Continental is the Titan engine? Well, it's interesting. Um, when it was ECI, ECI's roots were in the repair business. We used to repair crankcases, cylinders, camshafts, and cranks. And we learned from that experience those weaknesses that were inherent in some of the original designs. So ECI designed cylinders and crankcases and things as with improvements over ah, the original okay, designs. Okay. First you did other people's stuff right. and just maintained it, and then you mm -hmm. went, we can do that better. Exactly. I got it. Okay. I didn't know that history about Titan. Yeah. Now with Continental Motors having acquired ECI and the Titan, uh, it augments their horsepower range. Uh, Continental had nothing in the 150 to 205 yeah. horsepower range. And they bring to the table a uh, much more robust uh, supply chain. Uh, Continental brings to the Titan table, exactly. if you will. Okay. Right. So uh, being part of the Continental family now uh, strengthens our, our uh, position oh, I would in say. so far as uh, negotiating and keeping costs down and uh, keeping these engines affordable. Now, I've uh, been to the Continental facility there in Alabama. That's not where Titan is actually constructed. Is that going to change, or is Titan staying where it's been? Titan will stay in San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Our manufacturing is done right here in the USA. But will you maybe uh, co-source some things with Continental oh, where certainly. that's efficient? Yeah. Because it seems like an obvious thing. Well, yep. Continental is known around the world, of course. Every every everybody in aviation knows Continental. Mm -hmm. That's a huge advantage for Titan, I would say, and. You're saying it also helps Continental now to have an engine that Certainly. fill the blanks, if right. you will. It, right. It, uh, being part of the Continental name is, is certainly lends more credibility. Uh, it allows us to have a stronger warranty coverage. Ah, and, okay. I hadn't considered and, that either. And warranty uh, 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 resources. So tell me a little bit. Give me a few of the specs about the engine then that are important to people that are going, fine, I understand all that corporate stuff. That's great. But I am really just want to know about the engine. So give me a few of the facts about the engine, kind of the high-level technical specs or whatever. Okay. Uh, we offer these engines in uh, 320 and then stroke to 340 cubic inch. That's the most popular for this category of aircraft. All right. It's a 340. And then the 360 stroke to a 370 cubic inch. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So we offer a number of uh, displacements. We offer uh, a great number of uh, options. Part of uh, the advantage of these engines is we're very flexible as, insofar as ignition systems, uh, fuel injection systems are carbureted, forward-facing uh, induction or, or uh, vertical. So uh, you can fit in more cowls with that kind of thing then? Right. Ah, I see, okay. A lot of uh, fitment is easier. We supply uh, stainless steel components like the valve covers and the intake pipes, uh, Venturi intake seats in the in the cylinders themselves, so that the power is increased uh, by that Venturi effect on every stroke. Uh, the crankcase is equipped with uh, steel thrust washers, so that the uh, engine forces the thrust is transferred to the case and to the airframe, not steel against aluminum but steel against steel it's a much, see, more okay. ro much more robust uh, assembly so uh, what kind of a tbo do you get out of a titan engine uh 2000 hours is the published tbo okay so full full utility that way 180 horsepower we know about that is there other uh -huh. horsepower numbers yes we can we can build the uh 370 up with a counterweighted crankshaft up to 210 horsepower oh wow okay so you got a pretty good range of engines, and then you get into the even bigger Continentals, the 540s and whatnot, right, that, right. that will take care of things from there on up. So you're really filling a necessary gap for Continental with the Titan products. Exactly. Yeah, so that's very interesting. That's a nice marriage. No wonder they went forward with that. i got to ask you one question before we give a web address to those that want more info. Are the red cylinders a new Continental idea? 
No, no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're all obviously cut nose all about red, red, so. Yes, but uh, uh, paint selection is up to the, the, the customer. That you was can just for a little bit of humor. Sure. It's a real attractive look here, though. Well, JB, that was a lot of great information about the Titan engine and its new association with Continental, but people always have more questions. Where can we find more about Titan on the web? Our web address is www.titanengine.com. Dot com. Okay, very good. We'll send people there. We thank you very much for that. More about the Titan engines, more about the Continental engines, and all kinds of affordable aviation available on bydanjohnson.com.